So what is up guys, Brendan Suter back and today I am here with NFL Championship Round Predictions. If you're looking to watch a certain matchup, timestamps are in the description box below. So click on that match you want to see. Anyways, last week I was 3-1, and one, but once again, back-to-back -back years, Buffalo cost me of that perfect week. You know, I should stop relying on them, but I don't know why I do it anyways. Anyways, got two matches to get to. The winner of each of these matches will go on to play in Super Bowl 58. So without further ado, let's get this video. So we are starting off with our AFC Championship game between the three-seeded Kansas City Chiefs and the one-seeded Baltimore Ravens. What people could possibly consider as the new Brady versus Manning, as it's Mahomes versus Jackson. Anyway, starting off with the Chiefs, a clutch 27-24 victory over the Buffalo Bills. Uh, we had Patrick Mahomes, a decent game, threw for 215 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Lead rusher, once again, Isaiah Pacheco, hummed along. 97 yards and a touchdown. Lead receiver, who else but Travis Kelsey. Strong game, five receptions, 75 yards. Touchdowns. Marquez Valdez Scantling could finally catch the ball. Two receptions for 62 yards. And then Rasheed Rice, he uh, was had four receptions for 47 yards. That was pretty much it. Uh, the defense, once again, did a good job at containing the pass game of Josh Allen and the Bills. But the rush, you guys really struggled to stop that. So my key to victory for you, once again, as long as Pico can continue to hum on offense, but most importantly, your run defense cannot play the way it did against the Bills when you play Baltimore. They're one of the best rushing teams in the league. And if you do what you did against Buffalo, you're going to lose. And then with the Ravens, a strong 34-10 victory over the Houston Texans. Starting off, Lamar Jackson threw for 152 yards. Two touchdowns, no picks. But once again, it was all in the ground game as Lamar Jackson had 100 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Followed by Justice Hill with 66 Gus Edwards with 40 and Dalvin Cook with 23. You guys had 229 rush yards in the game. Absolutely a phenomenal uh, lead receiver was Zay Flowers. Four receptions, 41 yards. Followed by Rashad Bateman, three receptions, 39 yards. Isaiah Likely, two receptions, 34 yards and a touchdown. And then Nelson Aguilar, two receptions, 12 yards. Also a touchdown. That was pretty much it. And the defense, you just silenced the hot streak Houston Texans. CJ Stroud, he just really couldn't get anything done. Nothing could happen in the run game. The defense was phenomenal. Honestly, key to victory, play how you did against the Texans. Just stop the offense and just completely go bananas on the run game. Anyways, Baltimore, they're the favorite to win this one. But honestly, I really think this is a time for the Chiefs to pull off the upset and go back to the Super Bowl. So give me Kansas City. And now you have the NFC Championship game between the three-seeded Detroit Lions and the one-seeded San Francisco 49ers. Starting off with the Lions, won 31-23 over the Buccaneers, finally making it back to the NFC Championship game. Jared Goff, a great performance, 287 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Lead rusher was Jameer Gibbs with 74 yards on a touchdown. Lead receiver, come on, who else but Amon Ross St. Brown? Eight receptions, 77 yards on a touchdown. Followed by Sam Laporte in nine receptions, 65 yards. And then Jameer Gibbs, four receptions, 40 yards. That was pretty much it. And the defense once again, was able to limit the run, but got completely scorched in the secondary, and there was always that one receiver that made the difference. Uh, in the wild card round, it was Puka Nakua. Divisional round, it was Mike Evans. Key to victory for the Lions, you know, you got to tighten up the secondary. Once again, you were able to get away with it against the Buccaneers and the Rams, but the Niners, you may not be able to get away with having a leaky secondary. And then with the Niners, it was a close victory against the Packers, won 24-21. Uh, Brock Purdy threw for 252 yards, one touchdown, no picks, completed less than 66% of his passes. Uh, lead rusher was obviously CMC as he had 98 yards and two touchdowns. Lead receiver, George Kittle, four receptions, 81 yards and a touchdown. Followed by Jawan Jennings, five receptions, 61 yards. And then Brandon Ayuk, three receptions, 32 yards. That was pretty much it. The defense, there was a ton of bending towards the Packers. But fortunately, Jordan Love showed vintage Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre. Aaron Rodgers' part, losing to the Niners in a playoff game. And Brett Favre just, you know, throwing dumb picks. Especially that last one that he threw. So the key to victory for the San Francisco 49ers, honestly, Brock Purdy's the X factor. Like, they live and die by this guy. Like, yes, they have a strong roster around him, but when Brock Purdy's good, it's going to be an easy Niners victory. When he's kind of mid or a little bit sloppy, that's when you see the Niners barely scraping out these victories. And then when he's bad, like what you saw against the Ravens or what you saw against the Browns, that is when the Niners struggle. So once again, Brock Purdy needs to be on his A game if he wants to secure a trip to Super Bowl 58. And as fun as the Detroit Lions season was, unfortunately, I think it is going to come to an end. So given the Niners that they win the NFC Championship game, go on to the Super Bowl. So that gives us a Super Bowl rematch of Super Bowl 54 as it's going to be between the San Francisco 49ers 
and the Kansas City Chiefs. And that is gonna wrap up my video for today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you wanna watch uh, my last video, click right over here. If you liked the video, drop a like, subscribe by clicking here, or subscribe button down below. Uh, comment down below your thoughts. Uh, who do you have as your upset of the week? Lock of the week is your favorite team even still in this. And will we get enough Taylor Swift coverage in the AFC Championship game? Follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok at Brennan Suter. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Who that nation? So sad that the football season is about to end. Is up.